Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the first video of this series where we are building a task manager application from scratch using the mean stack. Here is the application that we will be building uh, and here we have the sign up page. So let's create an account. Let's call this um, John Doe at test.com and pass in a password here and click sign up. And we're now taken to the main app page where we can now create the new list bus in here and now create a new list. So let's call this list holiday prep, click create. And now we can add new tasks using this button here. Uh, so here we'll create a check in for flights, click create. And we now have this task and here we have some buttons to delete and edit this task. So for example, we can click on the edit button and we can now change the name of this task to um, confirm car rental, click save. And we've now changed the title of this task. Um, so let's create a new task again and let's just uh, create the one that we just updated. So um, here we can call this one check in for flights, create. And now we have these two tasks which are in the holiday prep list. So let's create one more list uh, and let's call this meetings. Let's click create and let's create some new tasks. So here we can put cancel meeting with Fernando. Click create and that's that task there. And we can create one more and we can call this reschedule calls with New York team. Okay, click create. And now we have these two lists with two tasks within each list. Um, so let's look at how we delete a task. So we just go over to the red delete button and click that and that is then deleted. And um, to complete a task, we just click on the task itself and that is now set to complete. And we can now go here and click on delete and set that to complete as well. To uncomplete, we can just click on the task and it will then uncomplete. So click on the task will toggle the complete state as you can see here. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, one other thing we can now do is we can go to the list settings, which is here, and we can click on these two buttons. So to change the name of the list, we can click on the edit button and we can now change the list name to um, this has been updated. Click on save. And now we have the new list name here. Also, we can go to the delete button and click on delete to delete this list. And there you go, that has now been deleted and now we only have this one list. Stay tuned to learn how to build this application using Angular, Node.js and MongoDB. So let's get started.